Hello everyone, welcome to Nubo Creative Tutorials. Today we have a new abstract motion graphics tutorial in our series and I will show you how to create abstract wavy lines and soft fireflame animations in Adobe After Effects without using any third-party plugins. And before we start our tutorial, I want to say thank you to Script Fighter for sponsoring this video. So if you use After Effects for character animations, SFCAD is an After Effects tool that will make your character animation workflow so much easier and faster. With one single click, you can load your character items on SFCAD panel, and then you can select the item that you want to replace. Each click on an item in the panel will switch to the selected item and add a keyframe on the timeline. Very useful and very handy tool that will save you so much time and effort. So make sure to visit the product page to learn more about it and to subscribe to Script Fighter YouTube channel for more useful tools for After Effects. Welcome to SF Caddy. SF Caddy is an After Effects tool that will make your character animation much faster when it comes to using replacements. Simply select the items that you want to replace, then click Load Items. Each click on an item in the panel will switch to the selected item and add a keyframe on the timeline. Oh my god, I can talk! SF Caddy is a great tool for items that might need replacements, like hand gestures, accessories, and more. So make sure your comp settings are the same as this one and hit OK. And don't forget to set it to 8 bits per channel for now and create a new solid in the reanimate to lines and make sure it's white and hit OK. And then add a new adjustment layer and we're going to rename this to 3D displacement and then add card dance effects. So make sure you watch the previous tutorials. We covered how to use card dance effects and how to create some very cool abstract motion graphics. So it's going to be easy for you to follow with me in this tutorial. So now let's create a gradient layer for card dance effect. Create a new solid. Let's rename this fractal and hit OK. And then going to apply fractal noise here. And let's pre-compose this into rename it to wave map. 001 move all attributes and hit OK. So let's open these and here let's set these to sub scale and then spline and contrast to 250. So we're going to get something like that in complexity to one and transform. I'm going to set this to 350 and we need to add some animation. So I'm going to use offset turbulence from zero to 2000. So we got something like these, as you see, and we can add actually evolution as well. So let's just get some, something like that, very straightforward animation here. And then I'm going to add fast box blur here to soften this map. So let's sit on radius 20 and repeat edges. So you can see the difference here. Very nice, smooth right there. And then I'm going to add CC Turner to remap the colors. So we're going to use all colors here and I'm going to remap these to grayscale in case we need to change the blacks later. So let's put it just before fast box blur. So now our map is ready. So let's go back to the main comp right here and let's just put it below everything. And on 3D displacement, we need to assign it on layer one. So here we got it. And then on Z position, we're going to assign intensity one to the source. So we got something like that. And basically we have some animations right there and that from the map. So here on columns, let's say 500 into 100 on the row so we get more details. So now we can use multiplier to go crazy with this. So what I'm going to do here is set this to 0.2, very subtle. 
and let's change camera here to comp camera and then create a new camera here in our comp to be easy to just adjust the camera. So here, let's reset these and create orbit null for these and hit R for rotation and for X, let's say 75. So we're going to have something like these, as you see. So let's preview and see how these looks like. So as you see, the animation look pretty cool, but we need to work on look to make it look very interesting and to fix the problems that we will see. So now if we crank up these settings here, rows and columns, we're not going to get this soft look on this. And plus it's really slow to render as you see here. So it take a little bit of time and the look we're going to get, it's not what we want. So as you see here, we got a few problems there. And so just let's go back to 105 on columns. So here I'm going to create a new adjustment layer and rename this glow. And then I'm going to apply glow effects. So let's sit here 100, 250 on radius and intensity 2.5. Let's duplicate this glow and then reset these and intensity for the second one is just 0.1. Let's add fast box blur here. So we are going to set three repeat edges. You can see we got something like this. And then I'm going to go back to this 3D displacement and then add CC cross blur here. So here we have a radius X and Y. We have blended mode. So here I'm going to set 50 and repeat edges, duplicating this and changing this blended mode to add and just really set it to 40 here. So you can see what we got. It looked really smooth now, but well, we got these look, it doesn't look right. So all lines layer, we're going to add Venetian blinds here and set width to one. And then if we change here, transition completion, it's going to control the glow right there. So here I'm going to go for 99. So that's look pretty cool. Now you can see we got some nice highlights and it look really soft and smooth. So let's just go to glow and add CC Turner to remap colors. Let's go for color here, hue and get bluish look. So just 200 on the hue. And so you can see here, now we remap the colors. Let's duplicate these, changing the glow to overlay for a second one. And let's add curves. And on alpha, I'm going to just draw a nice curve here. And let's adjust these a little bit, something like these. You can actually turn off the second one. So it just depend on the look you're looking for. So you can see here the difference. And we can duplicate these. And this time I'm going to choose add. And we're going to put these maybe to 50. And maybe for this one, we can keep these or just remove it. So it depends on your settings. So let's preview and see how this looks like. So as you see, this looks pretty cool. So now we want to create a control to make this easy to change colors. So let's create a new Jasmine layer and rename these control and then add colorama here. So by applying that, you can see we got this weird look. So on modify, we need to enter modify alpha here. And let's just open these settings here. So basically you need to keep in mind, we have a few colors here and actually we used two colors or three colors here. So we need to keep that as minimum and maximum. So let's choose here a preset, for example, fire here. And we are going to get a very nice, good look in here. So now we can change here the channels 
from intensity to value and alpha here. So you can change that with these modified changing, for example, here, hue and saturation. So it's going to modify the look as you see here. And that's very important to what you want to control. So let's just give these for now at intensity, for example. So you can go for different looks very nice and very quickly as you see here really nice so really cool so what i'm going to add now is camera lens blur and you can see it's going to help blur these a little bit Let's fix some problems there and then i'm going to actually go to glow here I'm going to copy this one and add it right here so let's put these at the top and then copy with properties links and then just copy these or paste it right here so it's going to be easy to control everything from one layer so right here now you can actually see let's go to see the difference here let's go to fire and if we turn this on and off, it's going to change the look as well. So you can see here, like adding some saturation. And now if we go to brightness, and let's just really put there maybe 30. You can see what look we are getting here when it's blue or just using one color here. Well, I'll get the idea what you can do with this. So let's get back these to different look. So now actually we can add slider control here, rename this to glow and let's link transition completion to these controls. So it's going to be easy for you to control everything here. So you can see now we have 85, 95, you can see different looks, 99. So you get the idea. So you can just play around with these and see what you can do with it. And I'm going to show you here like different looks using the same setup here. As you see in these examples, we have a gold look in here. So using a gold golden um, look or presets, just different, um, duplicating that and just different planning mode. So you can just do a lot of cool stuff. So here, let's just duplicate this one. And now let's just turn on visibility on these ones here, just to work faster. Let's go to camera here, maybe here minus 30 can play with these and then just zoom these a little bit something like this and you can now just change rows to 10 you can see what kind of look we have now very cool as you see here so you can add now these glows and for the second one you need to turn the second glow for both here so we can see the look we get and now we can just control things you want here so let's choose for example here let's go here for alpha or value to see what we can get we can go for hue and saturation and we will get a really cool looking as you see here so you can control what you want. And also here you can compose it over a layer. So you get the idea here. You can play here with the numbers of the rows you want. Very cool. So now you can go for the camera here. Let's reset these and go here for something like these as you see so we got a lot of flexibility to create some very cool stuff and you can also 
um, and a second one. So I want to show you here this example here. So here, basically, I have multiple layers. So as you see here, you can create something very cool. So here we have this. And for this example, I use two maps. So on 3D displacement, you just assign two different maps here. So you can see these maps still look actually different here. And you can create these by duplicating the second one, adding a mask, and then just animating that mask. So you can see here, you can turn on the fractal. And you can add these remap here using Colorama here. And actually, that's quickly, it's going to change the look as you see here. So you get a lot of flexibility to do stuff you want. And for the golden one here, we just use golden duplicating that with soft light and glow on color dodge. So that's it guys. Hope this tutorial was very useful for you as always. And if you have any questions, just comment and I will do my best to be responsive. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more tutorials coming soon and stay safe and stay home. And make sure to visit SFCADI tool product page to learn more about it and to subscribe to Script Fighter YouTube channel for more useful tools for After Effects. Thank you for watching. Welcome to SF Caddy. SF Caddy is an After Effects tool that will make your character animation much faster when it comes to using replacements. Simply select the items that you want to replace, then click Load Items. Each click on an item in the panel will switch to the selected item and add a keyframe on the timeline. Oh my god, I can talk! SF Caddy is a great tool for items that might need replacements, like hand gestures accessories, and more. <gasps> Available 